Some of you may have been to a presentation I did a while back on this. Uh, this is a moving target. They're always adding and changing things. So hopefully you'll have uh, see some new things that NIH and uh, is doing with um, this compliance. So briefly, I'm, this is what we're going to cover. I'm going to still go over the policy, especially for newbies who just came and were, the compliance was dumped on them and they still don't even have a concept of what this NIH public access policy is. We're going to talk about complying with it. Uh, going to tell you how to submit a manuscript to the NIH manuscript submission system. You might hear the term NIMS. Uh, we're going to talk about the NIH access policy and the grant process, and then the policy and ERA Commons. If you don't know what ERA Commons, I'll give you an explanation of what that is as we get to that part of the presentation. So here's the announcement that went out. It first started as a mandate, and then President Obama made it a requirement. So it has to be followed. And basically what it says is that anybody who produces a manuscript, a publication that has in, uh, been funded by an NIH grant is obliged and must deposit that peer-reviewed version of the manuscript into PubMed Central. And there are some time frames. This went into effect April 7, 2008. So anything from that date forward that was published, that was uh, NIH grant funding was used, needs to be deposited. There is some confusion about 12 months. 12 months is the embargo period. Okay. F, uh, uh, author or principal investigator gets, gets a notification from the journal, we have accepted, we will be publishing this. It's really a good idea to then start the compliance process because often if you wait too long, you can't find the version of the manuscript that you need to deposit, especially if it's a graduate student or a postdoc and they leave and you don't have the, the version that's necessary to deposit. And also, you need to comply with copyright when you're doing this deposit. So PubMed Central, what is that? That's in a repository. It's an archive that is a part of the National Institutes of Health uh, National Library of Medicine. It is a place where these items that you deposit are, are available. There is a permanent place that is free to anybody that they can get the full text of the manuscript that you've deposited. They do follow copyright. So that's, you'll hear the term PMC, PubMed Central. That's what that is, and we'll see that in a minute. And the NIMS, National Institute of Health uh, Deposit System, this is the portal where you start the deposit process. And there's different ways of getting access to it, and I'm going to show you that as we move forward. This is what it is. Uh, everything NIH and NCBI or anything does, they're always saying it makes it simpler. Sometimes the person at the end, at the other end that needs to do it, doesn't find it that simple. But that's their mantra. This makes it simple, makes it easier. 